the new sales funnel. Let's go over the old sales funnel. The old sales funnel was really wide at the top. You had a lot of prospects, you'd bring them in, they would have awareness of your products, they would get some interest, they would consider where they're gonna buy from, you would help them along in that process, hey, buy from me, and then they would make a preferential treatment of yes, I'll buy from you, and they would purchase. Now, if you look at the bottom part, the blue part, purchase, upsell, cross-sell, loyalty, brand loyalty, those things were extremely hard to do in the old business model. Why? Because it cost us so much money to actually do that. And the top of the funnel with the old print media, with TV and radio, that was pretty expensive too, but you could at least get them into the funnel, but keeping them engaged was a lot more hard in the old business funnel. Now, the new funnel. The new funnel has gotten very small at the top. Why is it small at the top? Because it is hard now when you've got 350 cable channels and 250 more on top of that that are news channels and 37 ESPN zones. Why in the hell do I need 37 of those? You know, but you've got so much attention that is being diversed out to different places. You don't know where a person is. I don't listen to the radio anymore. Everything I want to listen to, it's in my pocket on my iPad or my phone. I'm not my iPad, but my iPod or my phone, right? Here, excuse me, I got a sweat. That's okay. I'm not having any problems. I'm just fat. Um, so, <laughs> okay. So, but the deal is now is that with these social tools that we have available to us, it makes the bottom part of the funnel a lot easier. So what our problem is, people, is that we are using and thinking about social as a top of the funnel. And what I want you to start thinking about is where we need to put this is really at the bottom of the funnel. We need to do that after people buy from us. After they buy from us, we need to get them on our Facebook. We need to get them on our Twitter feed. Why? We need to start engaging those people so they'll come back to us, so we can cross-sell and upsell. I mean, how many of you as printers, you've got people that come to you every year, right? Right? It's like, yeah, every time they have that family reunion event, they come back to us. But what other events are they having? What other opportunities are there for you to cross-sell and upsell? We'll talk about that. Here's the deal, guys. There's this uh, IBM study about the perception gap between what people are looking for in social media versus what business owners think people are looking for in social media. So if you look on the left-hand side, customers rank number one and two. They're looking for discounts and help with purchasing. However, if you look on the right-hand side, businesses rank those two at the bottom. Businesses think that people want to learn about new products. Boring, I don't really care. I really don't. Unless you're like, you know, Lexus, because I like that car, you know? We start putting out general information instead of specifics. And we think that's going to get people engaged, but it's really not, because that is not what they are looking for. So we use this old media, email, TV, print, radio, and we feel like that's old media, don't we? I know you don't. <laughs> but a lot of people do. And what they're doing and what's really wrong is that they are taking social tools and trying to override the old media. So they've got their Facebook now, and I don't need my TV, and I've got my LinkedIn, and I don't need to do any radio. You see what I'm saying? But the reality is, is here's how social should work. It should be integrated across all of your current marketing methods. Social media, how many of you know Dennis Rodman? You know Dennis, right? I'm watching The Apprentice right now, so he's making me laugh. He's our, uh, what are you, he's our special guy to the people in what, North Korea? Thank you for that, Dennis. So here's the key with Dennis, though, is that when he used to play, when he used to play, Long time ago, that's how old I am. When he used to play, if he had the ball and he was near the basket, 
he would pass it because he couldn't shoot. He sucked at shooting. His job was to pull down rebounds. And if he had the ball on the offense, it was to pass it off to Jordan or to Pippen. That's social media. Social media is not a good basket scorer. Social media is a great passer. You need to pass off these people that are following you in social and get them into your current old school marketing. Let me tell you something, folks, is that one thing that is for sure, if, if you want to stay ahead of the curve, then you have to do what everybody else is not doing. So since everybody else is no longer doing, everybody running after the social, now we can come back and take our old school marketing methods, which are tried and true, overlay that with our social methods, and we will get the results that we desire. Look at this. This is purchasing over the holiday season by influence. On the, on the right hand side in the blue are social. Look at Pinterest, Twitter, mobile advertising, and Facebook. Then go all the way around, if I'm coming around to here, and look at paper and print. It's outperforming anything on this side. So what we want to do now is we want to get people engaged in social, and what do we want to do? We want to get that information. We want to get as close as we can to them. Once, we, once they like us, we need your email address. Once we can get that email address, we're going to start talking to them directly and getting them to take action. 